What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I've actually been surprised by the number of people that has already seen my videos because I didn't think about it. I really did not genuinely think about it. So thank you. So today's video is very short, very simple. I'm out of breath. I look like shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at my hair. Give me one second. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You should have not seen this. Hold on. Hold on. And boom, here we go. Okay, now now it's a little bit better. I know I'm not I'm not I know I'm not good looking. Okay, don't don't hate me. Don't write comments. I mean you don't write comments, but if you did, that would have been nice. Anyways, but uh, now at least I can look like someone who can watch the video. So today is very really short, simple video. I actually want to take my car to our trusted mechanic, very good friend of ours. He's gonna take a look at the car and tell me if there is anything wrong with the car. And we're gonna do an oil change. I drove the car for about, I'll say 10,000 kilometers right now. And to be honest with you guys, it has been nothing but reliable. It's an amazing car. I cannot complain. This thing had nothing wrong with it. I bought it at 62, now we're at 72. It's been great. But uh, I've heard of, from a lot of BMW drivers that you do need to change the oil at 10,000. However, BMW service interval is actually 15,000. I just be, I just want to be on the safe side. I do not want to take the risk of not changing the oil soon enough to cause any damages to the car. And that's about it. The car has not been really inspected, inspected by any mechanics by any means. I did buy it from BMW dealership, so I had a little bit of peace of mind. I did take a look around the car, I asked them to change a bunch of things. So today, we're gonna have a mechanic look at it. So we'll see what he says. If there's anything wrong with the car, yeah. It's gonna be another content video for you guys to see how to fix these cars. If not, then I guess we got lucky and we have a good car. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with the car. I'm kind of really hoping for that because I have plans to make the car much, much different than what it is right now to make it to my taste. But I don't want to spend too much money fixing things. However, maintenance is very important. If you guys do not know or you're doubting that your car has been maintained when you buy it used, do maintain it yourself just to make sure. Okay? Um, I'll see you guys in the mechanic shop. Put the X in next and no, I ain't trouble just to you since we met Cause you're toxic girl, I ain't even gotta try G-O-O-D-E good But how many do I tell you? Love with the X in next and no, I ain't trouble Goodbye Oh! Okay, well just go, it's okay, I will put something in your car Why not bro, why not? And here we go, we're at the shop now, we're gonna take the car on the left, but he's gonna drive it around and then we're gonna go from the door.
Would you say it was changed 10,000 10, kilometers ago or no? Measure it? The, the, only thing, the only thing matters is do you have 6.8 liters in your car right now? And that's what matters. Oh, we can't measure it now. It's going on. measure it now. Oh. If you could have told me earlier, I would measure it for you. So you think this thing burns oil? That's what I was trying to get at. What's, the, what's the oil consumption is at? You, know? you, you consume a lot of oil, does your engine consume a lot of oil or the engine? Normal. But for 70,000 K, you can do it. Just drive it. Just drive it and do your oil change. I'm always worried. That's not gonna happen if I don't worry about it. I have to worry about it. No, don't be worried. It's my daily. It's not my project car. No, no. Just drive it around. These cars love to be driven. Trust me. They don't love to be babies. I do that a lot. I drive 100 cars a day. Oh, that's good. 100 cars a day. I'm that's driving. That's good. But okay. here's the thing. Can we look at these suspension parts? Of course we do. Because at the back, I actually broke that rim. So I need to not to You broke it. Yeah. No, no, I changed it. The oil is good? You have sufficient amount of oil in it. What do you think about downpipe? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. It makes the car a little neat. Cadless or cadless? Oh, go with, go with the original stuff. No? Not like the original, original. I mean, go with the catalytic converter. Because you don't want to kind of create a lot of carbon create a lot of I don't know I think I'm okay with creating it <laughs> <laughs> think about the future you know but then again I want to I want to get the car louder so I mean oh, the car sounds sure. good you put a cat, cat back on it you still get it has an end performance exhaust I feel bad if I take it off yeah it burbles a little bit when you start Oh, it does a lot of burbles when you go to the sport. Yeah. When it warms up to like 120, it burbles all day. Two How to five. You want that? Two to six, all the way. I, I didn't do that one. <laughs> you want it louder? Of course. See? This is. They cut it from here, the original exhaust. Okay. And they put this M. Hold on, watch out. BMW, whatever, M performance. Yeah. BMW, M performance. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Well, it's just a muffler. So it's just a muffler? Yeah. It's not if the you... whole exhaust? No, it's not. Ah. If you get the whole cat back, it will definitely be louder. Did I mess up anything around here? No, no. You're good. I'm looking at it. Yeah? Do you hear any uh, abnormal noises or no? Does the car steer differently? No. Okay. What's this exhaust? Is that a 2.5 million? Uh, and that's that's bur that's bent and curved, so I'm not sure. That's not kinda like circular, you can't tell. Bent and no, curved. No, like it's bent curved and no, it's uh, just because they wanted to keep us away from the ground. Yeah. So they didn't in the world. Anyway. Mm. We're learning new things about the car. This is the first time on the deck we're looking at it. So we only have the M Performance muffler. We got a scam by the now. They told me this is a full M Performance exhaust. See? We cut it. We got the resonator here. Yeah, they put it from here. They put a clamp on. Sounds pretty decent, but it's too, too quiet. We're waiting for our trusty mechanic, Bangalore, to finish the oil change. Trusting uh, doctor. Trusting doctor. Is yep. it a doctor? For Who's the cars. Mechanic? All the mechanics want a doctor. He's a doctor for your car. He's a doctor He's for your car. He's your car's car. doctor. Okay. He drained the oil and he changed all the washers. Now we're waiting for the new oil to go in. So I just wanted to check the oil filter. Not oil filter. What am I saying? Air filter. We're gonna go ahead and ch check the air filter. I disconnected this from here. It was kind of in the way to open the air box. You guys might want to take it out or not. So there's one pin down here you need to open. Second one is up here. Third one is up here and fourth one is here. And then 
the, they don't, you don't need this to like, I'm just holding it. Otherwise you can open them with hand. Let me show you. You literally just do this and they open. Okay, let's see. Open the left. You lift up this lid and you take out the air filter. It looks to be clean. I wouldn't say we need to change it. So thank you BMW. I didn't know what you guys did because no one told me what services was done on the car. So that's actually today's purpose. I asked Varga earlier if the oil was good. He said for 10,000 oil looks to be good. Um, I'm checking the air, fil air filter for the same reason. I don't. For some odd reason, these Canadian dealerships, they don't give you service records. So they didn't give me service records. I don't really know what was done on the car other than the things I asked them to do. For example, the brakes were absolutely garbage. I told them I'm not taking the car unless you fix it. So that thing I know the brakes has been changed 10,000 kilometers ago. But these little things, I didn't know how they look, but we took care of it. We, took, we changed the oil filter, all the, uh, little washers, we changed the oil, but we're in the process, and the air filter looks good, as far as I know. You? You think this looks good? I'll look into it right now. In two seconds. Looks good. Looks fairly good. And you also have, uh, this box is M Sport, if you know the, the uh, performance. They made sure to tell me that with the label. <laughs> they put the label there yeah, and performance and everything. Yeah. Does this thing do anything? That's the main question. Does it actually give me any horsepower again? If it can, if it can breathe better. There you go. If it can breathe better, obviously. Yeah? Yeah. So it's all, it's all about breathing. You gotta breathe in. Breathing and exhaust. Out. At the same time, and that's one part of it. That's one part of it, and you have to dump more fuel in it. You have to dump more fuel. Well, we know from the factory, we have the M Power Kit actually. This car is tuned to have 30 more horsepower than a normal 430. Yes, yes, that's correct. So that's why we have the colder intake, we have the M Performance muffler back there. With and the tune, you get slightly a little more power. To the wheels so we're good they did good so far but we're gonna do more there's more coming this car is not gonna look like this <laughs> extra 130 holy crap extra 130 what's his plan for the car? guys he's making a promise on camera i'm, I'm not saying that he's saying we're, we're getting extra 130. now with oil change <laughs> damn it <laughs> i thought we're getting 10, 10 extra horsepower with every oil change no sure does that come included in the oil? In the oil, yeah. It doesn't say any here. I mean, like, you're not trying to advertise liquid Molly. No, we're not a sponsor. I mean... I'm trying to advertise me here. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely advertise him. His phone number is down in the description, guys. If you want him to work on your car, he's been a professional mechanic for German cars as long as we know him, as, as, as long as he's been a mechanic. He's worked for Mercedes, BMW, and Porsche, right? Yeah. There you go. Just to say that louder a little bit. He was working on Maseratis as well before. So if you guys have a German car and you don't know who to trust with your engines, I would definitely recommend Rado. Oh, this gear is thirsty. We're getting more oil. Oh yeah, 6.5 definitely. It takes like 7 quarts, right? Uh, I'm not American. I don't know. I know, I know liters. <laughs> liters? <laughs> what is it in liters? 6.8? 6.5. 6.5 liters. Yeah. That's a lot of oil. <laughs> Drink up, boys. Drink up. <laughs> Think oil is like water for us. So the oil for the car is like water for us. You know, we gotta drink it to, to find it. It's like blood. It's like, it's more like blood. Yeah. Water but we don't change our blood. I would say the water is like the gasoline, right? The water is like the gasoline. Yeah. I'd say the You're food. Thirsty. Is, I'd say the food is the gasoline. Food and water. Food and water. I guess that's the mixture that we make the boom out of for our, for ourselves, right? We mix water and food, we make boom. The explosion. Right. We uh, our body works like a force for. There we go, we got fresh oil, 
You want to start the engine Take for me, please? Filter, and we're starting off. This is the golden part boys this is what you want from a friendly mechanic that sits in your car do a test drive you go out he he, he gives the car the beans to see if there's anything wrong with it you know brakes acceleration noises everything can be tested by driving if you don't drive the car just by looking sure you can see rust you can see broken parts you can see bent arms you know for control arms but when it comes to noises and hidden things in the car you will not find it unless you you test drive the car unless you you know you, you give it some i'll say stress driving no sure, some tests a little bit of push a little bit of push i mean as long as you push the gas pedal right not the actual the car not, not, not the actual car <laughs> Would you say I got lucky or I chose the right car? <laughs> a lot of people were scared me when I bought a BMW. They said, you're in shit ton of problems. And I was like, you know what? Let's, let's experience it. Why not? If we're in trouble, we're in trouble together. You know, with, with the YouTube community, with our friends here, who know actually how to fix these cars. So I took a chance. We'll see. Two thumbs up, that's what we get. Two thumbs up for the car, boys. We did good, we did good. I'll teach you how to actually find these cars, don't worry. There's an equation behind it. I, de I didn't just get lucky, I actually did a lot of research. That's good, please share. <laughs> share with everyone so everyone share. can drive a nice car like you. Well, I'm gonna share it with these guys, right? That's but then right. they have to share it with their friends. That's right. That's what you're saying, right? That's right. Now we get everyone to hear. That's right. Because there is an equation behind it. Of course. You do know the equation. I do know something that I made up, so it might be the same thing, it might not be, I don't know. But we shared the experience. It took me about a good two months actually to find this car. I did over 15 test drives. I test drove M Performance. I, I, I test drove M Performance Edition. I test drove 435, 335, N54, N55. All of these things I experienced. That All right, we're done with the uh, oil service. Uh, let me know if you need any further service with your European car. It doesn't matter if it's a BMW, Mercedes, or Audi, Porsche. There we go. We got them. Let me know, guys. Okay, one to ten. What do you give to this car? How is it? Eleven. It's Eleven. Oh, yeah. it's <laughs> is that good? Oh, yeah. How many times a year am I gonna see you, doctor? Uh, depending on how much you wanna come see. <laughs> <laughs> Come see me more. <laughs> Driving more. That's it. We got the recipe. That's it, boys. This is a wrap for the oil change. It was just a short video, you know, vlogging, getting the oil change done. Show you guys our trusted mechanic here who works on pretty much all of our cars, actually. The whole crew comes to him, you know, he services all of our German cars. If you need anything, again, his number down in the description. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next.